We're rolling. Can you count down for me? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <clears throat> we ready? <clears throat> ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? <sighs> Are we ready? Craig, good job there, Craig. All right. Craig was good with that slate board. Everybody knows Jerry Cahill, my, my absolute buddy, and he's a, he's a sweetheart. And he's... I'm the one that's sending all the crazy March yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying March, marathon <laughs> man, his emails. The cystic fibrosis community is invited to participate. Is invited to participate in a series of series. Oh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> Ready? The cystic fibrosis community is invited to participate in a series of videos and podcasts on individuals that are living, breathing, succeeding with cystic fibrosis. Today you'll meet me again for my 10th year anniversary, talking about some of the podcasts that I've done in the past, and you'll see some of the behind the scenes look at some of my crazy little bloopers, I guess you would call them, during uh, a lot of the podcasts that I've done. So I hope you enjoyed. I've enjoyed doing the podcast for the past 10 years and will continue to do them for at least another 10 years. So enjoy some of the behind the scenes look. All right, thank you. Okay. Look into the camera for Look into the camera. Yeah. So you want me to begin? Yeah. Hi, this is Jerry Cahill with CF Wind Sprints. And today we're gonna to be discussing sterilizing your equipment while traveling and also at home. This question comes from Jonathan Brown from Seattle, Washington. And Jonathan, the way I do, what's the matter? Why do you keep doing that? Sorry. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of looking weird, because you keep going like that. Are you making faces like it's terrible? Today's question, what are you looking over there for? The purpose of CF Wind Sprints is to educate and engage the CF community. I will discuss various topics such as education, nutrition, <laughs> where are you? I'm sorry. I hope everybody's been following along. We like a little people part. <laughs> Every time you get me something. So Tyler, I hope you enjoyed the option of using kettlebells. Let's go again. What are we doing? All the way from the start. From the start? So now I have to start again? Yes. Oh. I'm 53 years old with cystic fibrosis, and I wanted to welcome you to CF Wind Sprints which we are launching in May for CF Awareness Month. Is this okay, my hood flopping? <laughs> I have found them to be very useful and I'm sure you will also. <laughs> my voice. <laughs> well, I started doing the podcast because I was volunteering at the Boomer Esiason Foundation, uh, working on some scholarship programs and Dave Remington, the president of the foundation, spoke to me about possibly doing podcasts and pieces on people with CF and more educational pieces. So I gave it a try and started uh, playing with some of the gadgets. And at first it was more of a disaster. I'm not the best with electronical devices, but uh, we started doing them and uh, it was quite beneficial. A lot of people with cystic fibrosis do get infections throughout their sinuses. So I do sinus irrigation and it helps clear my sinuses. Another form of airway clearance is the flutter. As you can see, this is a very compact device. There's a little ball inside that makes little oscillations and kind of rumblings inside your lung as you exhale. I think it's important to use a spirometer because it gives you a better handle on what's going on with your body and obviously your lungs. Well, I think doing the podcast has opened me up a lot more, uh, so it's a lot easier for me to communicate and go a little deeper and ask people questions, but really that depends on the person. Uh, but I have no problem asking anything and uh, everything if they're open to it. You know, I work with the uh, production team and certain things that we need to have in there for cystic fibrosis, we make sure that they're in there. So that's pretty important. We don't just, you know, shoot the video and somebody randomly edits it. So we're pretty involved in that. So it is, it does take a little time and it's a process. You know, you hope that they get out there and make a difference in people's lives. But uh, when you start to get out there yourself and just meet other people, it's amazing, especially in Europe, how many people are really watching the podcast. We met another gentleman over in, uh, in Dublin, a gentleman named Lar, and he said a lot of the podcasts that I do 
have helped him get through um, get through hard times before his transplant. You know, he saw me go through the process and the things that I did with exercise and running a race post transplant that it inspired him, that it gave him hope that. Uh, you know, that he can do it and he can go through the transplant and that there's life beyond transplant. And he's doing quite well. He's three months post-transplant right now. And we have a podcast that just came out with him that was a audio. So uh, he's doing quite well. So we did another one uh, about the feeding tube. And that was really a good podcast because it was very educational for a lot of people. So kind of it's that whole thing about seeing is believing that once people saw how easy it was for Gunner to do uh, the feeding tube process, that a lot of people started getting feeding tubes. You can do crunches, you can do sit-ups, swim with it, go to the gym with it. The feeding tube hasn't stopped him from doing anything. He still plays intramural hockey, he's on our flag football team. It's nice to see that they're really out there and making a difference internationally. You know, things like that make it really worthwhile. Hi, my name is Jerry Cahill. I'm 53 years old with cystic fibrosis and wanted to welcome you to CF Wind Sprints, which we are launching for CF Awareness Month. Oh, doing the wind sprints at first was a little bit difficult for me because I had to get in front of the camera and kind of uh, introduce the wind sprints. And, uh, and I was kind of like, blah, 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 blah. so I was kind of caught up in words and whatnot. But, uh, you know, it all worked out. After, you know, you practice a little bit or the more you do, the easier it gets. So, uh, but it's, it's fun. The wind sprints are fun also because they're really s simple things in my life that I've done and continue to do that keep me healthy at the ripe old age of 58 with CF. So uh, getting in front of the camera at first was difficult, but I'm getting used to it. Hi, I'm Jerry Cahill, 54 years old. Hi. Hi, I'm Jerry Cahill. I'm 54 with cystic fibrosis and a volunteer at the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Okay, we'll focus on you, the CF community, to bring a more awareness to exercise. What? <laughs> what? To what? Uh, this year, are you rolling? Come on, I'm busy now. I forget some of this stuff. The Boomer Esiason Foundation has decided to make its efforts you, the CF community. Oh, okay. This year, the Boomer Esiason Foundation has uh, decided. <laughs> Wait, come on, get over there. The plane. Specifically, specifically, we want to introduce you. That was terrible. And get people involved. <laughs> Each year, the month of May is singled out. What is singled out? I must be better now than this. In getting behind the, uh, no, 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 no. All the pharmaceutical foundation, all this, blah, blah, blah. Okay, start again. Yeah, I'm learning things from the podcast on every time I do a podcast. I learn things every day. Uh, and when I do podcasts, I'm always learning from people. Uh, things about life in general, not just about CF, about how people grew up with, uh, in life and CF in all areas. What I've learned from people that is like, really everybody has, uh, you know, different obstacles and has a different story. And it's not only a story about CF, it's about their family and growing up in school and, and jobs, career, and what their fears are. And so, yeah, you learn a lot. Well, with the podcast, we're, uh, we're starting to do more uh, live Facebook uh, chats. Uh, we're doing Google chats. So kind of wherever the social media is going that, you know, our goal is to be there already. You know, you can't just keep doing the same thing. And you've got to appeal to uh, bigger audiences and audiences, you know, have different needs and interests. Testing, testing, one, two, three. My lungs clear. And then you go down. You go on to doing some lunges up the hill. <laughs> and we're going to start off talking about the apple.
Okay, guys, I wanted to thank you all for watching, and I look forward to doing another 10 years. So thanks for all your support from all of you, the listeners, and uh, also to the Boomer Siason Foundation for all their support in getting behind the uh, podcast. Thank you to my film crew, to all the listeners, to the Boomer Siason Foundation, all the pharmaceutical foundation, all this. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, start again. Ready? And the pharmaceutical companies for all their support. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, we're all set. Is that good?